Let's get started. No. Ah, yes. So this is a brush that was just an old, old hog brush that I've yesterday. I uh, trimmed and I thinned it out as well because the brush I've previously been using was worn out or pretty much worn out although I might be able to get a little bit of life left in it so got this one it seems to work quite well as well so now just working on I'm gonna get going straight onto these trees here Let's mix the paint just um, kind of putting a stipple I guess you'd call it so picking the paint up just on the tip of the brush and I'm really only using just that tip there And it's a small, small little area that it's it's um, it's putting down. It's certainly not a regular shape. It's each one is sort of a little bit different depending upon the angle that I hold the brush. But it does certainly give you the impression of leaves on that tree. I just notice there's a bit lighter near the top, which I suppose it would be. So I'm going to go over most of the area here in the same way and then I'll add details and probably the edging to these trees afterwards. But same technique, using the same brush, and just making sure that you're mixing a good variety of different colours, and you, you know you're not just going in there with one, one, um, one colour. So mixing it up a little bit. So when I talk about defining these edges, what you've got here, I mean, if you look at the edge of this, it's very much just a soft, but soft but solid sort of edge. There's no gaps in there. So what I'll do is using some white spirit, and I'll go a little bit darker for that edge. You're mixing in, so it's fairly, it's fairly um, runny. It's got a nice flow, and then I'm just going to. Just sort of change the shape of the edge a little bit. And I might even put some gaps into here as well. But this is it's it's this sort of thing that helps make the the uh, painting look more real. And it's quite an easy thing to miss out if you're in full flow. So it's just a little a little bit to you know Give the you work that sort of, that, um, sort of more realistic touch. So there, <clears throat> now you've got a little bit more of a a uh, or less of a regular a line, and that it's little things like that that help the help the picture look good. And I'll do the same over the rest, all the rest of these trees. In fact, the, 
the trees, the, there are branches coming up and the trees are sort of extending out into the sky a little bit more, which I'll do. I could either do that now or I could do that after I've put in some of the details here. I'll probably do it now, I think, show you how I'm going to do that. There are a few different ways of doing the edges, or a few different ways that I use to do the edges. The first one is uh, pretty much the same as I did this edge here. So it's using just a, a small brush here. This is a, a sable blend. So I'll just, it's almost like just drawing, drawing it in, you know, filling it up. Almost like you're doing it with a, you know, you could be doing it with a, a, a pencil, you know, or a, a felt tip, same sort of, same way. Just drawing it in. And that gives you a, quite a sharp edge. That's quite, quite defined doing it that way. And I'll just show you how that works on here, and then I'll show you the other way. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way is to use more of a, and this will work well if you have a, a, a bigger area, is to use more of a sort of a dry brush technique. So what I mean is I'm not going to use any um, liquid or white spirit, any medium that's going to make that run a bit better. Um, and actually the more drier the paint is the better so it doesn't work quite so well when it's straight out of the tube but if you were a couple of hours in and you'd had it sitting on your palette for a while then that's probably the ideal scenario so what I'm doing is because the brush hasn't uh, the paint hasn't got much flow I'm just doing a downward stroke just small ones and it's giving you that sort of furry look that you can see there those of you that are really paying attention you can probably see that I'm not copying these trees too faithfully here um, obviously the trees in the photographs have got far more gaps through them and you can see a lot more of the sky and you can see this sort of a hillside through here a bit more which you can see there um, I decided not to do that just because um, it was a whole lot of work that I don't know, didn't really sort of feel was entirely necessary now coming on to work on the on the leaves. Same technique as I've used over the rest of it, these leaves here and, and here. I'm just gonna go over the whole thing now, putting in a variety of different colours, but same brush and same way of applying the paint to the picture. Thank you. 
it's still looking quite solid this tree here so I'm going to put in a few of the few gaps in there where you can see sky through and I'll probably do a little bit here of where you can see this hillside coming through in gaps just underneath the trees and that should help it look a little bit more like it's supposed to. Oh, the end of a long day. Picture is going well. Pretty sure it's finished. There might be a little bit more to do. But um, boy, I tell you what, the pictures, because you know, I'm filming now and uh, everything is, is uh, there for you to see, I'm working a lot, lot harder. Um, trying to get it more precise. Now, I've got to say, the pictures are taking so much longer. But still, they're better, right? I hope so. So, we shall continue as we are, and hopefully I shall see you tomorrow-ish. Okay. <laughs>